This might be my favorite way to eat zucchini. Hey friends, welcome to the party. I'm Michelle and I'm here to help you invite your friends over more and stress less. It's summer and that means zucchini is all over the place. Talk about you. I have a few friends that have gardens with like a ton of zucchini right now and the number one thing that they need help with is figuring out how to use it all up. Normally I love using zucchini for appetizers and salads during big summer parties. But in reality, we are living during coronavirus times, so those parties are not happening. But that doesn't mean you can't have some small batch party foods in your life. So today, we are gonna make a small batch of some basil mozzarella zucchini bites that I know you're gonna love. Let's do it. So let's start by grating our zucchini. So this recipe uses one zucchini. And if you want, it's really easy to scale up. So you can use more of that zucchini from your garden or the grocery store or the farmer's market, whatever, whatever you got. Get it all off of there, kind of. Get it off my arm, make it a mess. You know it. So this is gonna go into a strainer. Get as much of it as you can in there, honestly. And now what, we're just gonna add a little salt. It's gonna help get all the extra liquid out of the zucchini. Let's get a little stir. Just let it hang out, 10 minutes or so. While that hangs out, we're gonna grate some cheese. We got some mozzarella. And we got a hunk of parm. So if you can, if you can, uh, get a hunk of cheese and grate your own, the parm and the mozzarella. If you don't, that's totally fine. Use what makes you happy. I really don't care. I just want you to enjoy what you're doing and you know, buying the pre-shredded stuff will definitely save you a little bit of time. All right. Into our bowl we go. Lots of cheese in here. They're gonna be good. We're also gonna add in a bunch of basil. So we're gonna give them a little chop. We're actually gonna chop this pretty fine. I want little bites of basil in every bite of zucchini. So we need about a quarter of a cup, which, ah, I eyeballed that pretty well. Good me, good job me, good me, whatever. All right, into our cheese it goes. And then we need about two tablespoons of chopped parsley. about two-ish tablespoons. Ah, uh, we've got three. We're gonna just add it in. That's all good. We're gonna chop a little shallot. I need like two tablespoons of it. It's gonna make me cry. like two tablespoons of the shallot too. So I'll uh, save this a little bit for later. We're also gonna add in some panko, which is a Japanese style breadcrumb. It's great. Got an egg to add in. Beautiful. And then garlic. I like to put garlic in practically everything. This time we're gonna use one clove, but if your heart says more garlic, go for it. And what else? Oh, red pepper flakes. Um, optional, but I think they add a nice little kick. I'm gonna put in a couple sprinkles. Okay, our zucchini looks good too. You see all that liquid hanging out there? Yeah, that is what we don't want. So we are actually going to squeeze out even more of it. You wanna get this as dry as possible, all right? You can even use a little paper towel action too if that makes you happy. And I might actually do that. All right, lovely. And you know what? I just had a thought. This might be really interesting or really weird in a cocktail. Thoughts on that? All right, so our zucchini is good to go. Beautiful. 
and then we're just gonna mix it around. Um, I'm gonna use a spat at first just to kind of incorporate everything and to break that egg up. You know I don't love the texture of eggs. Um, <laughs> so first we're just gonna go ahead and mix this up and then I might get in there with my hands. You know, I love using my hands in my kitchen. They are the best tool you have. Yeah, all right, hand time. All right, everything looks really well mixed together. Together. And you just want to check to see if it'll hold its shape. So give a little squeeze, and that looks pretty good. So uh, I'm gonna clean up this disaster, and then we'll get to assembling our little bites. So we're ready to assemble our bites. Give us a little spritz, and you want a tablespoon, and we're just going to tightly pack in a tablespoon worth of filling, or it's not really filling, but mixture and then pop it onto our baking sheet parchment lined of course and uh do it with all of this mixture it's gonna be so good all right and then just give them a little pat down so they brown evenly, you get lots of crispy bits. Gorgeous, and look, they're not perfect, and they're not perfectly on here, because perfection is lame. This is looking great. A little spritz on top, a lot of spritz on top, and uh, we're gonna pop these in the oven. So these little guys have been in the oven for about 12 minutes, and ooh, look at that color, so pretty, so pretty. We're just gonna go ahead and give them a little flip, and then we'll continue baking them. I want to eat them now, but I want that delicious brownness on the other side too. These little guys are so good as is, but people love a good dipping sauce, and I'm a person. So we're gonna make a super simple sauce. It's not even a recipe. We're just gonna mix together some marinara, store-bought, homemade, whatever you got. And then this, this is Italian bomba sauce. It is fermented Calabrian chilies and it is really good, it's really spicy, and it's just gonna jazz up our marinara. Yeah, it's the bomb. I can't believe I said that, but I did. All right, why don't we just uh, do a little plating today? We haven't plated anything in a while, and we'll make it pretty for our party of two. Keith and I, we're gonna eat these for dinner. And a little basil, make it super fancy. Oh yeah. Love, oh my God, these look so good, so good. All right, friends, if you like this video, you are gonna love my other small batch party food recipes, which you can find right here. Go check them out. All right, time for a bite. We'll dip. Mmm, oh my God, so good.